Good morning, Timbers Community Church. Welcome to our online worship service. Our call to worship this morning is from Isaiah chapter 6, verses 8 to 10. Please stand with me for the reading of the word. Isaiah 6, verse 8 to 10. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go, and say to this people, Keep listening, but do not comprehend. Keep looking, but do not understand. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn, and I would heal them. The word of the Lord. Let's be seated together. Now, normally I say let's pray, and then I say continue in worship or begin worship while we're standing. But it's a strange call to worship, and I wanted to give a brief word of explanation. Isaiah 6 comes after five chapters of declaring how hard the hearts of the people of Israel are. They've turned from God, they've turned from his word, they've turned from his ways, and it is to this people that Isaiah is sent, and they won't hear. So one of the implicit questions is, what's the point of going? Why preach? Why send this message? But the point is revelation. It is as the word comes that the conditions of the hearts of the people are revealed. The commissioning of Isaiah is not to go and make their hearts dull, but to go and reveal the dullness and hardness of their hearts, to show that their eyes are closed and their ears are dull and their hearts are hard. And that is why they do not see and do not hear and do not understand and do not turn and be healed. Still, you might wonder why go. Well, there's two reasons. One is that part of the point of the prophetic word coming and revealing the reality of the hearts of the people is that there's the opportunity to be shocked into recognition and doing something about it. So you're meant to hear this word, your heart is revealed, and you go, am I really that far gone? And then in that gasp of recognition, you also hear hope, because even though you really are, and the people of Israel really are, and we really are that far gone, God still sends his word, and with that word comes power. As you read on in Isaiah, you come to the prophecies of the coming Messiah, of the day when God is present in a new way. And among those amazing promises are the promises that the eyes of the blind will be opened and the ears of the deaf will be unstopped. So why go? Because in the power of God, the hardness of heart and the closing of eyes and the dullness of ears can be reversed and healed. Because what is impossible with man is possible with God. And so when we hear Isaiah 6 and these verses as our call to worship this morning, we're being called today to allow the word of God to reveal the conditions of our hearts, that we might turn to him in repentance and experience his gracious healing power. That's our call to worship this morning. So let's hear it again. Please stand with me for the reading of the word. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here I am, send me. And he said, Go to this people and say, Keep listening, but do not comprehend. Keep looking, and do not understand. For this people's heart has become calloused. They hardly hear with their ears, and they have closed their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn. And I would heal them. Let's pray together. Father God, thank you for your word, for your goodness and grace. Thank you that you send your word to those who are so far gone, but never too far for you. For what is impossible with us is possible with you. We pray that that would occur among us today, that we would hear your word and be shocked even into recognizing the state of our hearts and turn to you and experience your healing power and presence. We're here to meet with you, Lord. So come, Holy Spirit, fill this space in each of our hearts. We ask these things in the name of Jesus. Lead us in worship, we pray. Amen. Let's worship together. 